Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Serial Killer by Snoop Dogg. Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, okay, so give you a preview of what this song sounds like. It's a really catchy kind of like motif and it appears in a lot of those thug life memes. Okay, but anyway, really catchy it goes like this. Here's a preview of what you're going to learn. It goes like this. repeat it. Yeah, okay, but okay, for this lesson I'll be teaching you right here so you can see all the notes, but actually um, the right hand should be like playing an octave higher. It sounds a lot nicer, but you can't see it. that's the reason why I'm going to teach you an octave lower. It sounds like this. Sounds like that if you play the right hand one octave higher. But anyway, regardless, let's learn today's lesson. There's two sections for this, not two sections, two parts. Okay, so pretty simple as well. It's be a very quick lesson because the second part is actually pretty much exactly the same as the first part, but just right hand has one less note. But anyway, regardless, let's learn the first part first. All right, so I'll show you all the notes here and then you're gonna put the right hand an octave higher. But anyway, yeah, right hand starts on the G. So middle C is here, we'll go up an octave C, starting on the G here, but essentially afterwards you can play another octave higher for that G. But anyway, yeah, let's start. So it starts on G, and then F, E flat, and then goes D, E flat, and here's the hard part, there's four notes that is really fast. It goes D, E flat, D, C. These four notes are fast. And then it goes to D, down to the lower G, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for the first part. One more time for this right hand for the first part. So it goes like this. It starts with a G, F, E flat, D, E flat, and then the half part for fast notes goes D, E flat, D, C, D, and then G like that. Yeah, but it's pretty fast. It goes like this. So da, 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 like that. And you see it's like, like that. You're gonna practice your agility for that. So start slowly. Smoothly. Like, even when it's fast, it has to be even, okay? So, like that. Yeah. So, the main difficulty in this is just that trill to make it clean. None of like, if it's flat, flat fingers, it will be like uneven, like that. It sounds blurry, right? Not, not good. So, maybe curve your fingers. Just drop right into the keys. But anyway, that's the right hand for the first part. All right, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are, okay, so these are the only two chords, and afterwards they are the same two chords, okay? So two chords are G minor, which is G, B flat, D, followed by A flat major, which is A flat, C, and E flat. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, so G minor, followed by A flat major, two hands together goes like this, all right? So it goes G and G minor together for the two hands. So it's together. D and A flat major together. Just like that. And that's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes like together. Just like that, okay? So yeah, pretty awesome, right? But anyway, the other thing that is even more awesome is because you actually finished learning the song. The reason why the second part, as I said before, is exactly the same as the first part. The only difference is that the right hand is, it doesn't go to the last G. We stop right at the second last note. So we just delete the last note on the right hand from the first part and that actually makes the second part. So check it out. It was all the same. Check it out. D and that's it. You hold the D like that. And that's the second part. So you don't do the G like the first part. Yeah. So patterns like these are very awesome because it allows you to learn stuff super quickly, okay? One more time for the second part, so it goes to go to Just like that. Alright, so that's the second part. So back to back, the two parts that I've learned in today's lesson would just be play like this. Second part. And you'll repeat it for 1,000 times. said you can play an octave above for right hand sounds better
anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you have fun learning this lesson. It's a pretty simple song, but the only hard thing is, as I said, the trill to make it, uh, yeah, it's kind of like very even, okay? So anyway, yeah, have fun with this song. Um, it's pretty fun and like very catchy motive uh, for you to learn. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel, checking out all these other piano tutorials, covers like these, I have over 2,400 that I've made, a lot of stuff for you to learn here. So anyway, as for now, if you like these teaching methods, visit my website for more, bestpianomethod.com, a lot of stuff for you to learn there. But as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.